is today 44. Oh my god. 54. My body slims. I'm making myself a little iced drink. It's these crystal light wild strawberry packets that I love. Pretty addicted to them actually. Anyway, I am feeling pretty miserable right now. It's 414. And I usually don't make my Body Slims videos until the end of the day, but I thought maybe it might be healthier to just make a video right now and talk about what I'm feeling rather than waiting until the end of the day and trying to cope right now. Maybe like talking about it will help me to like resist snacking. Okay. So it's Monday and I woke up... I didn't sleep well last night. I didn't even get to bed until after midnight. I had a little bit of a hard time falling asleep. I was uncomfortable during the night. I kept waking up. I felt like I was too hot, too cold, just uncomfortable. By the time I actually woke up, I was thinking I was going to go into work at 8.30. And so I was pretty much planning on walking from 6 to 7. Um, but as I got up about 5.30 and was very loud, no, it was more like 5, very loud and I woke up around then and I hadn't slept well anyway and so then I was kind of awake, I could hear him, but I was really tired and irritable and I knew I actually didn't need to get up for another hour, but I couldn't, I didn't fall, I mean I did fall back to sleep, but I was just really irritable. And actually, by the time I was like fully conscious at about six o'clock, quarter to six, I realized that I was really angry. I was just so angry. Like I woke up angry and I don't know if it was, I didn't get enough sleep or I was just really low blood sugar or if I'm, it's that time of the month, which I think maybe I'm getting close to. Um, or just, I was feeling a little stressed about, I knew today was going to be really hot. And so I didn't want to walk in the daytime after work. I wanted to walk before work, but I felt tired. So I was like, I'm going to not get much sleep because I'm going to, I don't know, just everything all together. I woke up and was miserable. I was just laying in bed feeling really, really miserable. And, um, in addition to that, I I you know how I said when I first started these videos that one of the hard things about being real and being like honest about your life and I'm sorry I'm washing dishes because I also have to wash dishes right now even though I'm filming um one of the hard things about your life talking realistically about your life is that your life is tangled up with other people's stories and so like if you tell your story in honesty honesty you have to kind of tell someone else's things about other people and that's really hard sometimes and sometimes you just can't sometimes you have you know privacy issues anyway just suffice it to say I had something yesterday that was a little hard for me and a lot hard honestly and when it happened, I was like, um, not, honestly, I was just really numb. And it wasn't like, you know, it's not like somebody hit me or something, but I had like, um, a, a difficult, uh, a difficult issue with somebody that is important to me yesterday. And, um, It was not even anything unusual. It was not even anything surprising. It was just life. Sometimes you have difficult relationships. And for me, I felt like kind like even yesterday when it happened, I was trying to like be present and be in the moment and like acknowledge what was going on and how I was feeling, but in reality, I felt very numb yesterday. Like while I was, while it was happening, I was very, I was 
fine. I was not having any bad emotions. And I feel pretty confident that I was fairly graceful and I handled myself okay. Like I'm, I'm not, I don't have any regret about the situation, but it was hurtful to me. And when I was done um, having the conversation that was hard, I was like thinking logically, this is a difficult thing for me. Like logically, wow, that was hard. But I didn't actually feel a lot of emotions about it. I just was like, I can acknowledge that, wow, that was a little painful. But then when I woke up this morning feeling really angry and out of sorts, immediately I was just thinking about my body. I was like, I didn't sleep good. I'm kind of chilly. I am still tired. I'm kind of stressed. I have a lot to do. Ezra's being really loud. I was thinking about all these like surface things, but when I asked the Lord, immediately I felt like I remembered that I was just really kind of disappointed and sad about about some about some things that have happened in the last little bit. And so I knew that I had a choice. I could get up and go take my walk. But I was like submitting to the Lord. I was just kind of laying there in bed saying like, Lord, I need you so much. I am so, I just was honest. I'm like, I am so miserable. My body, my spirit, my mind are just tapped. And I'm, I don't have it in me to do anything right now. And I don't have it in me to get up and take a walk. I don't have it in me to get up and read my Bible. I don't have it in me to even, just nothing. I just literally wanted to go back to sleep. I laid there. I prayed a little bit. I reset my alarm for seven and I did just go back to sleep. And when I woke up at 7.30, actually, I felt so much better. I felt a lot more peaceful. That last hour of sleep was way, way, way good. <laughs> way even better than the rest of the night's sleep. And then I woke up and got ready for work. I listened to a really good message by Bill Johnson. Um, just was talking to the Lord and worshiping and felt so much better, like really a lot better. Um, and then I went to work, which was great. Really enjoyed being there. Um, and then when I was done, I, oh my gosh, it was just a full day. I quick ran to the bank. Then I went and got groceries and tried to buy like some, make some good choices and get some things on hand that I know are like my go-to healthy meals. And then from there, I took my lunch down to meet some August actually and went just visited with a few people while I had my lunch. But I packed my own salad, my own lunch, and just brought it with me to the, to the lunch and um, felt really good about that. But then I was thinking about how we've been renovating a house and my husband and I kind of made this commitment that Monday and Tuesday evenings and all day Saturdays were devoted to renovating this house. So I know that Mondays I often like try to I think it's not like 3.30 or 4, and I try to, sometimes 2.30, I try to have dinner done so that I can bring dinner to him, meet him at the house, and then plan to spend the evening there. But I realized one of the things to like keep for me has been, I know that I need more rest, way more than he does. He can go and go and go, and I just can't. And so I have been trying to tell myself that Monday afternoons were resting time for me. And I knew I wanted to do that. But when I got home from work and groceries and stopping to see a friend for lunch, my house was just really messy and I felt like I had a lot to do. And I started prepping supper a little bit and cleaning up a little bit. But also it's so hot right now. Like, I don't do good with the heat. I feel really irritable and miserable. And I realized I'm here. It's 420. I need to have dinner done. I need to get down there and work. And just to be real, I am so like, I'm so miserable. I, and I'm so miserable. I don't want to go work this evening. I just don't want to. I'm so dreading it. And this project is really 
discouraging like it's been taking so long and I have not enjoyed it at all and it feels like this we've renovated houses before this is like the I don't know how many we've done 10 and I shouldn't be so overwhelmed but it's making me for some reason this time it feels so overwhelming and I'm just not enjoying any of it Every time I know today is the day to go down there, I'm dreading it, like all day, just dreading it. Like, oh, I don't wanna go there. I have not enjoyed being there. I haven't enjoyed doing it. And so all afternoon, I've been kind of selling myself like, oh, it's getting close, oh, it's getting close. And that just like makes me feel so miserable. It just makes me feel miserable. And so then I'm home and like, instead of just enjoying my beautiful house and doing some chores, I'm like, like it's like it's I actually feel like all of the joy is being stolen out of my afternoon because I don't have all the energy that I feel like I need to get my house clean the way I would like it to be clean so it's comfortable to me and make dinner and also like suck it up and get ready to go down to work on this house and because of that because of all of this thing and also like still kind of thinking about yesterday and all of those things make me feel like I would like to just eat every salty thing in this house. And also I just really want salt right now because I always seem to really want salt right before it's my time of the month. So that's where I am and I never got my walk in and I never do whenever we go work in the evenings because it just is too much just too much I cannot do it and so that's where I am right now and that's why I decided to make this video because the whole point of making these body slums videos is because I wanted to be really real and make a record of how I'm actually coping and dealing so far today I've had at a 300 calorie breakfast it was like super filling super nice I ate before I ate before I went to work I went to work. When I was done, I made myself a salad. I brought it to the party. My salad was actually about 250 calories. And then while I was there, I had one little sandwich cookie and a, I would say about a half a cup to a cup of popcorn, um, which I didn't even measure actually now that I think about it. But I made myself my own like packet of drinks so that I wasn't drinking their drinks there. I did make myself a small cup of coffee while I was there for probably, I don't know, 30 calories. Very small cup of coffee. Um, when I got home, no, I forgot. Then I went and stopped at, at the store and I bought this like 200 calorie pizza thing. And I just got it because I was like, ooh, this is like this little, like, you know, one of those, it's almost like a Hot Pocket, but it was pizza. And I'm like, I wonder if this would satisfy my pizza, because I love pizza. But if like pizza could be 200 calories and this is just what I have and I love it. I got it. I ate it. It was nothing to write home about. So how many calories is that now? What am I up to? I don't know. And then I got home and started making dinner. I made pad thai noodles which with sausage because that's the only meat I had thawed and I'm estimating the full pan for all for me and Ezra at 800 and I probably won't eat half of it I'll probably give him two thirds and I'll take a third of it and then I had a bag of Cheetos for 150 calories and I had like three grapes and then I just made myself a crystal light drink and I also had a bite of chicken, rotisserie chicken. What is all that? I should add it up. Anyway, that's just me. Okay, so now it is nine. It is quarter to, it is quarter to 10. It's quarter to 10. And um, this is how the day has gone. I, after I filmed that, I may or may not have had dinner with Ezra, which I planned. And then I had a single serving bag of chips for like 150 calories. And then I was like, I need to be done. I need to be done. Um, and then we went to go work and I didn't end up doing really nothing because we were ended up seeing family. 
And so now it is evening and I did not take my walk, but I didn't really go too far over my calories and that has been my whole day. And I'm sitting at a table with some of the other people on the fitness group. Should I film Giselle right now who's eating popcorn out of the bowl? Uh, how'd your day go? Hi, it went good. Um, I woke up in the morning, had 200 calories of chocolate, went about my day. Um, at like maybe one o'clock, I went swimming. I had 1,200 calories in fried chicken and bread, and then I just swam all afternoon. And then when I got done with that, um, I came here. You did your I, walk. Yeah, I did my walk, and I just came here and I had some mint tea. So I'm probably a little bit over. But okay, Malika, would you like me on video? How'd your day go? Not good. I wanted salt all day. So I went over my calories. It was not a hot day. Mm. Did you get your walk? Yeah. Yeah. Did yes. you go, did you track your calories even though you were over? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't want to be on video. Giselle doesn't want to be. Giselle, Giselle <laughs> respectfully abstains. Yeah. Wait, Giselle, we, we can hear you. Do you want to talk even though nobody can see you? No. You can just look at me. Giselle says no. <laughs> Mary Kate. Oops. How dare you? It was an accident. I pressed I the wrong be, button. You may cross me. <laughs> On your way to Mary Kate. Mary Kate. Do you want to say hi? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's the end. I am probably not going to watch my night video because that has just become a normal thing for me. Am, I, am I starting to... He's out, home slice. Stay home, squirrel. Am I starting to quiet quit because I haven't been doing my night video? Give me your honest answer. No, I haven't done it either. You don't, video. but you're not on. <laughs> <laughs> you remember. There's five things you're supposed to do on Body oh, Sims, dear. and one of them is the night video, and I just realized oh, that we I We want did. our night video together. We want it at the same time. What's well, your night video? You don't even have a night video. Our night video. Yeah. You can't call my video the night video. That's no, not how that works. Not your Our video. night video. I just caught up on your videos, actually. Okay.